Hello, Jill. I wanted to ask you what you think of the Anthropocene. Uh, about what? About the Anthropocene. Well, you know, about the assumption that we are living in a new geological epoch in which humans have become one of the most important factors influencing biological, geological and atmospheric processes on Earth. Uh, but uh, hasn't it always been like this? Well, humans have always had some kind of influence on their environment, but it was only with the beginning of the industrial age that it became so serious that it can also be seen in the layers of the earth. And today, of course, especially in such a phenomena as climate change, in the extinction of species, the acidification of the oceans, etc. Uh, but eventually that's exactly, or almost exactly, uh, what I had in mind with Felix. In our book about the Thousand Plateaus, we talk at great length about the layers of the earth and how they differ from each other. You mean the chapter of the geology of morals, where you come up with this rather wild natural history of substances and forms of territories and codes, of materials and semiotics? Uh, and, uh, not to forget, develop a whole uh, puppet theater show, almost like this year. Um, an epistemological dialogue of the dead in which uh, Cuvier, uh, Geoffroy de Saint-Hilaire, Darwin, Van Baer and many other geologists and biologists appear. Mm, that's what I recall, but I think you are digressing a bit here. Anyway, in the Anthropocene Puppet Theatre... There would be people as Paul Krutzen, Antonio Stoppani and Hubert Markel that appear. Uh, not uh, necessarily, uh, because one of the leitmotifs in this dialogue is, after all, the relationship between the organism and its environment. It still seems to me to be quite appropriate when we define the associated milieu by the capture of energy sources, by the discernment of materials, uh, the sensing of their presence or absence, and by the fabrication or non-fabrication of the corresponding compounds. But this has nothing to do with the pressing problem of today's climate crisis. Referring to the Anthropocene implies two things. First, that we urgently need to do something about the human-made degradation of our environment. And second, that we can actually do something. Uh, uh, wait a minute. Uh, uh, just because... I'm talking about organism and environment that doesn't mean it's unimportant or uninteresting. I would even say, on the contrary, after all, it was none other than Karl Marx who called the metabolism between humans and nature labor. And quite in line with the geologists and biologists of his time, uh, in this sense, I would say that the problem of the Anthropocene cannot be approached independently of the problem of the capitalist form of society. I see. Then we would have to do the next puppet dialogue with you, Paul Kruitzen and Karl Marx. Uh, and uh, maybe Edith Piaf... The singer, as well? Why that? Well, uh, the line that we used as a sub 
title for our chapter on the geology of morals came from one of her chansons, uh, Pour qui elle se prend la terre? Which is also a good question. So I'll see what I can do.